Hello, everyone. This is Reggie Hilliard from the Mastermind Book Club, and I'm here to introduce Charles Coleman and CEO David Diaz. And the book today is Self Reinvention Realigning Your Life with What You Want Audiobook from Engas Life. And the first up to speak on the book to give his short rendition or a short intro about the book is Charles Coleman. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Mastermind Book Club. Our book for tonight talks about a character, uh, one of the characters in the book, Helena. Helena was a person who wanted to be a writer. And her her job prevented her kind of like from doing it or, or her, her character, like how she was thinking about things. So she decided that she would uh, reinvent herself by getting up early, by journaling, by doing small tasks and applying action to what she wanted to do. She actually sought it out, planned it out, visualized it, saw what she wanted to do for herself. And in two years, she was on stage as an acclaimed author. These kind of results can, re can, can also be achieved by you, just by doing some of the things she did, making your goal, uh, putting focus on it, giving a plan of action, and then applying yourself to doing it, taking small bites. You know, how do you how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. The journey of a thousand steps begins with the first step. So these are things that we have to do as far as focusing on the outcome that we want to have. Uh, three years ago, I was in a terrible accident where I fell on my job. I fell through a second story landing through some steps. And uh, I had to reinvent myself. And I started by seeking things that I really like to do. I like trading. I like the financial market. It was something that I was interested in in college. So in order to reinvent myself, I started seeking classes. I started seeking for a mentor, a coach. And these are some of the things you can do to reinvent yourself. And that's what I'll say for tonight. Thank you. Am I up, Dave, or do you want to go? I can go. So next up is our uh, honorable, venerable David, CEO David Diaz. CEO David Diaz. Re reinventing yourself. How do you reinvent yourself? Well, let's say, for example, you're at a dead-end job and you're sick and tired of being there. That's an opportunity of growth or an opportunity of growth. A mishap. You have a you have a chance to either reinvent yourself or to take the path that most people take, negative path. Reinventing yourself calls you to stop what you're doing and create something better if it's not working for you. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Even if it were working for you, maybe you can stop and make it even better than what it already is. Because sometimes we just Feel, oh, if I all I could make is if I could only make 500 bucks a week, I mean, that's okay, but it's not self reinvention, re reinventing yourself. Think having bigger goals requires taking bigger risks, not giving up, taking a chance. And even if you don't succeed the first time, you got to keep going because eventually you will. You know, just take it from the uh, CEO of Kentucky Fried Chicken, who failed, 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 failed until he made KFC a success when he was, uh, I think, 65 or 66 years old. He didn't give up. And when he was about to give up, he said, I'm going to try once more. And to this day, KFC exists, although it's just as a name brand. I don't want to lead you to go and get fried food every day. <laughs> so reinvent yourself into healthier eating habits, reinvent yourself into healthier family habits, reinvent yourself into wishing others the best in their life, that they may succeed, just like we do in our Mastermind Book Club. We wish each other that we succeed in all that we do. That's it. Take it away, Rich. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, Charles, we got to thank you up front and also you, David, for coming up second and offering a little bit of what this book is about. And now I'll close for tonight or to, for today 
So the idea of reinventing ourselves has to do with us obviously building upon where we are, right? So not to say you're in such a bad state, but you always want to increase or get better or improve upon where you are. So in order to do that, you have to figure out where you are and where you want to go. Self-reflect, look at your deepest desires, be true to yourself, work to bring out the best life for yourself, not what other people want you to have or what they want you to be, but what you truly want to be. You got to look at the things that captivate you. So you ask those questions. What are the things that captivate me? What life do I wish to have? What kind of impact do I wish to have on the world? You want to visualize these things, right? You want to you know, really sit down. You want to write them down. You want to talk to yourself. There are a lot of ways that you can go about it, but it's really always about you putting in the time with yourself in order to, visual, to, to create this reality. So then there's the thing of putting in the self-care efforts. There's the thing of doing a lot of self-discovery. There's the thing of adapting, so changing or making modifications to the very way that you're operating in your life. You want to trust the process along the way because it may take some time, some effort, and sometimes you may overthink, but you want to stop overthinking. You want to keep at it. You want to keep working. You want to keep focusing. You want to listen to your instincts and follow your intuition. Forgive yourself for the things that you've done in the past. Let them go and keep moving forward because it doesn't happen today. It'll happen though if you keep at it. You want to connect with the right people, share with your interests your interest with them, your values, your goals, all of these things that you want to do. Challenge your limiting beliefs if you have any. Get rid of self-talk. All of these things you want to do. You want to make sure that you do the best thing to do for yourself to make a fertile ground for your for your uh, the creation that you're working towards. And if you stay on this path, you stay doing these things and add a bit, a few more things and keep the right people in your life, all of these things will come to fruition. So self-reinvention is about creating or building upon where you are so that you can step up rungs of a ladder until you continue to get to levels and higher levels and higher levels. So that's what I'll offer for today. And I again, want to thank my colleagues for coming together today to offer you a nice piece of what this book is about. And we ask that you go out there and take a look at this book for yourself, the self-reinvention book from In Gas Life, so that you too can prepare yourself and your life for a better existence. Until next week, we'll be back with our next book and we bid you adieu. Take care.